As organizations move to microservices architectures, they're faced with an increasing fan-out of service-to-service -service communication, duplicating RPC calls, and congesting the network. Google's no exception. And you saw how we began to rethink client-server interaction, leading to our development of gRPC. gRPC gives you modern, lightweight communications between services, whether they're talking over the internet or just inside your own data center. It's open source, efficient, and supports numerous languages and operating systems. A big part of the speed gRPC gives you comes from the use of protocol buffers, an open source method for serializing structured data that's leaner than XML or JSON. Protocol buffers use binary instead of plain text, allowing for better compression of messages. Because they use HTTP2, messages can be multiplexed, further increasing your communication speed. Using protocol buffers also spurs better security, encouraging the use of TLS to make sure all information passing between client and server is encrypted. We've seen large and small organizations adopt gRPC to help them build and scale their microservices architecture to benefit from strongly typed messages or to reduce latency in service-to-service -service communications. And when people switch to gRPC, they're supported by the large community of developers sharing ideas and practices. Since gRPC is language, payload, and operating system agnostic, it's easy to try it within your code base. You just describe the methods in a given service once in a .proto file, and you can generate interfaces for any language. We've seen gRPC and protocol buffers useful for a plethora of applications, including your TensorFlow code. TensorFlow is a machine learning framework that has been used to go hunting for new planets and solar systems like ours, to prevent blindness by helping doctors catch diabetic retinopathy early, and to save forests by alerting authorities to signs of illegal logging. It's what AlphaGo and Google's Cloud Vision are built on top of, and it's yours to play with. TensorFlow is open source, and you can download it for free and get started today. And we've been working to make it easier and more useful than ever before. You can use it with Python, R, Swift, JavaScript, and more, even training and executing models in your browser with tensorflow.js. To expand on device availability, we've brought model execution to mobile and IoT devices with TensorFlow Lite. And if your data gets so big that it's not feasible to train models locally, try out TPUs, Google's Tensor Processing Units, which you can use on Google Cloud Platform for hardware-accelerated TensorFlow training. Enjoy the next session, where Jung Kyu Shin will be updating us on how this open source machine learning tool has evolved and grown over the last three years, and what to expect from TensorFlow 2.0 and the roadmap going forward.